What should I do if my child is being bullied at school? This is a great question, but also a very big problem that we have and dealing with in society today. Hi, and welcome to today's topic. Why is my child being bullied at school and how to deal with it? My name is Yvette Rose, and I'm really excited to be diving into this important topic with you today. And just quickly, for those of you who are new and if you are a parent, you will absolutely love this book called Psychosomatics of Children. This is psychosomatic stress and how that stress can actually contribute, perhaps even, even not trigger ailments in a child. And this will help you to understand the emotional and psychological distress that the child is challenged with. And of course, we also have for the parents for adults 679 medical elements for adults and the psychosomatic stress of that and you can find that at amazon and i have so many amazing courses as well free master classes every wednesday so come and join us in intuitive body workshop where you can learn how to read your body like a book understand the psychosomatic and trauma messages in the body to actually help you to promote much better and deeper healing now let's dive into this topic because Let's be honest, bullying is a very distressing experience and no child should ever have to experience that in their life. And as a parent, discovering that your child is being bullied can be both heartbreaking and very challenging. However, there are constructive steps that you can take to support your child and to address the issue effectively. Now, here we're going to be diving into what you should do if your child is being bullied at school. Number one, listen actively. So when your child now confides in you about the bullying, listen to them and be empathetic as well. Give them your full attention and avoid interrupting or passing judgment or getting overly angry when they try to express themselves. Because when they are expressing themselves in that moment, they feel tremendously vulnerable, awkward, maybe guilt, shame, and tremendously power powerless. So what they need is a pillar. They need a safe place now. To fall on and just let them express whatever they need to express and their feelings and their concerns as well next is to then reassure your child right so reassure them that they're not going to be alone and that you are there to support them and there to help them because the worst thing for a child to feel is when they're being bullied as that there's no one to go to because they feel shame they feel guilt because maybe they're being bullied and they feel that it's their fault one thing that I've learned working with children and especially with my child, with little Zaya, is I try to relate to them. So, of course, I've also been bullied at school. That's something that I can relate to as well. Maybe not to the same certain extent as her, but absolutely I've had my fair share of it. And I would say to her, you know, I've also been hurt like that one time by, at school and it didn't feel good and I felt really sad. But I realized it wasn't my fault and I talked to the teacher and the teacher really helped me and she listened to me. So... When I did that, she realized that it's not because she's doing something wrong. It's not because she's, it's just happening to her. I made myself relatable. When a child is not able to relate to someone when they have a problem, that is when they feel incredibly isolated. And that also discourages them from actually communicating to you and expressing their stress. Another point also to do is actually document the incidents, the time, the date, everything that's happened and encourage your child also to document that as well, right? Especially the moments when it's happening and especially the descriptions of what's happening, where, what and how and even witnesses that was perhaps standing there or who saw it. And because a record can be a valuable point of addressing issue and bullying at school. Understand the bullying. Now, try to also gain a clear understanding of the type of bullying that your child is actually dealing with. Is it physical? Is it verbal? Is it social? Is it cyberbullying? Because each type might actually require, of course, a different approach. Contact the school. Reach out to the school to report the problem of bullying and actually arrange a meeting with the teacher. A phone call is not enough these days. Face-to-face -face interaction tends to be actually working quite well because if you take the time, you show up there, you're serious. You want this problem to stop. You are committed to work with the teachers. You're committed to work with the child to help to bring calmness and peace in the situation if needed. Get the school to arrange to meet the bully's parents 
and for you perhaps to come together in a room. It's best to actually do this through the school and not directly with the other parent because this can actually escalate into even more arguments, exasperating the bullying that your child might experience. Because let the school and let the teachers be the buffer for you. Stay calm. This is one thing that I had to learn when I found out that, you know, my daughter was also being bullied a little bit at school. You know, she would come home and it was three days in a row where she would come home from school with, with bite marks on her arm, her back and her leg where it was bleeding. You could see the clear teeth marks and the blood underneath her skin and where it also punctured her skin. That's how hard another child bit her three times in a row. And I was livid. I lost my gasket. Luckily, it happened at the house. I was so upset and I took photos and I also documented everything and I sent it to the teacher. And I said, if this happens again, then I would like to have a meeting with the school and I would like to have a meeting with this child's parents because I want to understand what's going on here. And I would also, of course, want to know what's happening with my child. How did she perhaps provoke that? So we all have to understand and stay calm because if we don't stay calm, we're not going to be able to get all this important information so that we can make the best possible decision. Encourage also teacher or supervision or peer support. Now, encourage your child to have that support, maybe from friends who can help them to stand up to bullying together because peer support can be a very, very powerful, almost like a repellent. And they don't have to do anything, but just physically show presence and feel and be there and give protection. Teach self-confidence. Help your child to build self-confidence, also assertiveness, and provide them with strategies to help them to respond to bullying, like for example, using assertive language and to assert their boundaries and for them to how to recognize when their boundaries are being overstepped so that they can catch it when it's being overstepped and not to the point where they feel scared and they don't know how to react. There's a fine line to actually note that transition of when a boundary is being overstepped. Avoid blaming your child. Now here, ensure that your child also knows that the bullying is not always necessarily their fault. Bullying is about the bully's behavior, not the victim's actions. I understand that sometimes a child can provoke to the point where another child wants to punch them. We do it even as adults. <laughs> so this is an important point to now take a deep breath because how you react to that can actually put you in a worse position than what you were by being on the receiving end. Teach your child conflict resolution. Help your child to understand how they can problem solve the conflict resolution skills. Encourage them to communicate openly with their peers and also when conflict starts to come up. And if they don't know how to deal with it, that's okay. Go and ask someone who can support and help in that moment. Involve law enforcement if necessary. And listen, if the cases of bullying that now becoming that's harassment, stalking, or there's very serious threats or physical harm, Consider just going to law enforcement authorities and ensure your child's safety. If you find that the school is not supporting you, go right to law enforcement. Monitor your child's emotional well-being. It's very important that if you know that your child is being bullied, keep a close eye on your child's emotional state. Look for signs of depression, anxiety, or withdrawal and seek then support and help if needed. For example, Zaya, when all this bullying was happening with her, she was only three. So her interpretation of when I asked her, how was your day to try and understand, did this bullying happen again? This was this person mean to you? What I found worked really well is I would ask her, what made you sad today? And she'll go straight to the source of the problem. And I'll ask her, what made you happy today to bring the balance back? So I constantly check in with her every single day to see how she's doing and how she's feeling. And I observe how she interacts, how she communicates, any change in behavior as well. I keep an eye on that. Know your rights. Here's what's very important. Familiarize yourself with your legal rights regarding bullying laws and also regulations because every location will normally be different because then you will know when how and how far you can push certain actions when needed.
stay involved. Continue to stay involved in your child's school life and attend school events. Maintain open communication with teachers and also monitor their progress. Get to know your kids, you know, the, the kids' parents. Who are they dealing with? Who are they, who are they interacting with on a daily basis? Where are they playing? Just to know and understand what is happening in their daily life and what it also looks like. It helps to create a stronger bond and a greater understanding for your child as well. Now, something that I really love is to celebrate success, to celebrate your child's success and their achievements and recognize their courage in facing bullying and praise their resilience and how well they're also handling it and the constant reassurance that you are always one step behind them. Thank you so much for joining me today, parents. And until next time, be the light that you are.